Today, we are going to talk about the local biotic communities in Nigeria. A biotic community is the largest naturally occurring group of plants and animals of different species that are found in a particular location or habitat. Now, in Nigeria, the local biotic communities are divided into two main zones. We have the forest zone and the savanna zone. Then we also have the desert region. Now, in the forest zone, the forest zone is divided into two. You have the mangrove swamp forest and you have the tropical rainforest. Now, the mangrove swamp forest is found in states in the coastal region, in states like Delta, Cross River, Lagos, River States, and all the rest of them. Now, the mangrove swamp forest is characterized by a high rainfall of about 250 cm per annum. They have trees that are tall and evergreen. And then remember that this place is also a swampy region, so you can find uh, uh, you can find trees like um, red mangrove, white mangrove in this mangrove swamp forest. Now the second uh, region of the forest zone is the tropical rainforest. Now the tropical rainforest is found in states like Abia, Imo, Delta, Kaduna, Edo, Anambra, etc., etc. In this region, you have a high rainfall. Of about 200 meters, uh, sorry, 200 centimeters per annum, and then it's also characterized by high rainfall, sorry, high temperature. Now, the trees that are found in this place include um, Iroko, Obeche, Mahogany. The trees are evergreen and they have broad leaves because of the abundant rainfall. And also, the forest region is stratified in layers. You have the upper upper, upper layer, you have the middle layer, you have the the, 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 the lower layer, which has uh, grasses and uh, herbs and shrubs. Now, the savanna region or the savanna zone is also called the grassland area. Now, in the savanna zone, you have the southern Guinea savanna, you have the northern Guinea savanna, and you have the Sahel, Sahel savanna. The southern Guinea savanna, you can find it in states like Enugu, Kogi, Oyo, Eboi, Fara, and the rest of them. Now, in the southern Guinea savanna, it is characterized by a rainfall of about 150 to 100 centimeters per annum. They, they have a high uh, uh, distribution of grasses and also short trees, which are deciduous, meaning that they shed their leaves when there is rain, and then they, they sorry, they shed their leaves in the dry season, and then they maintain their leaves during. The, and also, these trees they have a uh, thick bark that are fire resistant because this area is prone to fire. Now, we have the Northern Guinea Savanna, which you can find in states like Plateau, Bauchi, Niger, Taraba, Adamawa, Kanu states, etc. etc. Now, in this, in, in this Northern, Guinea, uh, Northern Guinea Savanna, you have a lower rainfall of about 50 to 100 centimeters per annum. Now, these places you have fewer grasses, you have fewer trees, and then the, all the trees there are also deciduous. You have the Sahel Savanna, which is found in states like Borono, Castina, Sokoto, Yobe, Kano, Kebu, Zamfara, and Jigawa states. Now, in these states, you have very, very low rainfall. Rainfall is almost uh, non existent in these states. They have trees that are scattered and then deciduous. And also, you, have, you find trees like date palm, you find trees like akakia in this region. Now, we have the desert region. Now the desert region is a, is, is a region with very low rainfall. You can find it in, in, the, in the northern borders of Sokoto, Castina, Jigawa, Yobe, and Boronu states. And then this, this, this area has little or no rainfall. And you can find animals like camel and the cactus there. Uh, sorry, animals like camel and plants like cactus because these are plants that can survive in arid areas where there are no rainfall but then have a high temperature region. Thank you very much.